YouTube cooking channel. On today's session is a very easy recipe and most requested from the viewers, uh, which is an Indian chai tea. A uh, good Indian tea can be started with a tea bag, uh, milk and some water, but because it's called masala chai tea, it has spices to it, which gives you a really good aroma. And you'll notice that I'll be adding a little bit extra milk to this recipe because the spices are so strong, so the milk really helps with the flavor. So let's take a look at the um, recipe for masala chai and let's go to the ingredients. Alright guys, so the recipe for masala tea is very easy. You need a pot and here I have is 3 cups of water. And then to this I'm going to add uh, 2 uh, tea bags here. This is a black tea bag or you can call it as a orange peacock tea. Um, I'll show you guys some brand names. Now it's up to you uh, how strong you want the tea to be. I like mine two tea bags. If you like it less strong then you can add one tea bag or you can add three. Up to you how strong you want. I'll show you guys some good brand names to shop for a good Indian tea. I just googled it here. So you can either go for a Tata tea or you can go for a Taj Mahal tea, red label. And also we have uh, Tea India. So these are some good tea quality that you may want to shop to make a good chai tea. So um, this was some option here for you guys. And then uh, wait for this to get boiled. I like to have it boil for about 8 to 10 minutes on a medium to uh, low heat. This way we have all the flavors blended from the tea. Alright guys, so it has been about 5 minutes this tea has been boiling and you can see the dark color. That's how we want this, the darker the better. Now it's time for the spices. So here I have is a cinnamon stick, uh, here is a black cardamom, this is clove sticks and uh, we also have uh, green cardamom. So it's optional if you want to use green cardamom solid or you can use the powder. I like prefer using the powder. So um, it's better to use um, cinnamon stick because uh, the flavor, it's just perfect texture. If you add the powder of this, it's going to make your tea very strong. So I'll add the uh, cinnamon stick to this. I'm going to add one um, black cardamom. I'm going to add all the clove sticks. These are really good. And uh, instead of the green cardamom solid, I'll add the powder to it. And now we're going to let this get boil for another 5 minutes. Alright guys, so it's been about 10 minutes that the tea bag and uh, masala, which is the spices, are nicely being boiled for about 10 minutes. So we can get a good flavor going. Now it's time to add the milk. So it's entirely up to you what percentage milk are you are adding. I'm using 2% of uh, milk here. And uh, I'll be begin with uh, adding about uh, 4 cups of uh, milk. And uh, if you don't like uh, the um, too much milk to this, then you can reduce it to uh, 3 cups and um, it will still give you a good flavor. Please let this come to boil and then I'll show you next step after that. Once this is, comes to boil, you're going to stir this and then place your heat closer to low and let it get boiled for about 3 to 4 minutes longer. Alright guys, so our masala chai tea is ready. As you can see the beautiful color to this and smells so delicious and uh, the heat is on a low and it's been just boiling for um, a few minutes. So now this is ready to be served. It's entirely up to you if you want to add your sugar now, if you know everybody's uh, taste for the sugar. Or oh, this recipe serves about uh, two to three people, depending on the size of the cups you'll we'll be serving. We have to use a strainer for this to serve because it has a lot of spices and we don't want to have it in the glass. Uh, you can serve it in a cup if you like, your favorite cup, or with the glass. Alright guys, so this was the recipe for uh, easy um, homemade uh, masala tea, masala chai tea which has the Indian aroma spices to this and it's totally optional to you whether you want to use all the spices into a chai or you can use some of them and how much of a quantity you like to put because of the flavors and all. So please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, do leave me your feedback and your requests. Until next time, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye now. Bye.